Well, we made it to the hotel. We're here in the Alice in Wonderland room. Today was uh, full of challenges. But we got here, we're in Japan, and uh, we're gonna call it a night, but I'll catch up and do the rest of this video in the morning. All right, well, we made it to Tokyo, not without some misadventures. To start out with, we normally get to the airport, you know, an hour early for a domestic flight. So we figured two hours for international would be plenty and uh, it was not. So the line was massively long and uh, we didn't have to run, but we just got to the plane just in time. The first thing that happened is when we got to the counter to check in, the, uh, the gal said, hey, you have to download this e-visa thing for Japan and you can't get on the plane without it. So we're standing in the security line trying to fumble with our phones and if you're uh, over 30, trying to do that kind of a thing on your phone takes forever and is a little bit challenging. We also didn't understand how to input the addresses for where we were going in Japan. So huge frustration. We got through most of it, although not all of it. As it turned out, we didn't need any of that to get on the plane. So that was lucky uh, for us. So we got on the plane first short flight to Vancouver, and then we flew from Vancouver to Tokyo, which was about a 10 hour flight. Actually, it was great. We flew Air Canada. They gave us three meals so our first meal was um, mashed potatoes and some kind of beef that was actually pretty decent and uh, came with a roll and it was a full meal salad everything and then um, about halfway through the flight they gave us a tuna fish sandwich and a cookie which seemed kind of strange but that was all right and then uh, our last meal was kind of a breakfast omelet uh, fruit kind of deal uh, which is great so we got three meals they were all free uh, also free drinks on the plane so that was pretty cool and uh, you know, we didn't get too crazy, but we took advantage of that. Uh, so that was great. So then we ran, landed. One thing to note, Tokyo has two airports. Same thing happened to me once in Houston. You would think I would have learned my lesson, but I did not. So the airport that we flew into was quite a distance from where we needed to go. So the first thing I did when we got through customs, so customs to start there was great. That QR code that we didn't have on our phones, they were super helpful. The lady actually just took our phones and did it all for us. So if they don't get freaked out about that. It was super easy. So we went through quarantine. They just checked our cards. Then we went through immigration. They uh, fingerprinted us, took photos, all that kind of stuff, but we didn't have any trouble. Then you go to customs. We did the customs declaration and um, did that whole routine. We don't have anything to declare and you're good. We went to baggage claim. So it probably took us 40 minutes maybe to get through that whole process. And then we got to uh, baggage claim. Our bags weren't even there yet. So that worked out pretty good. We went to baggage claim, got our bags, that was all fine. Out we go. So we go out of the airport, we start trying to figure out how, now of course our phones don't work because we didn't have the forethought to figure that out. So anyhow, we're in the airport, we're trying to figure out where to go. I see a cash machine, so the first thing I do is go get some money. I figure I might as well get some yen. So uh, I went to the cash machine, I got 50,000 yen, which is about $375 US. So that was easy, no problem, card worked, that was great. Then we figured out that where we need to go is about an hour and a half away from this airport. Like I said, there's two. So a taxi ride was going to be uh, 32,000 yen. So bear in mind, I just got 50,000 yen. It was $375. So clearly it was really expensive. So we were going to get in the cab and just do that. Uh, I think more out of frustration, but they had an information desk. And so we went to the information desk and just said, hey, here's what we're trying to get. Is there another way to get there besides a taxi? And indeed, they have a subway. So she said, yep, you can take the train. You go downstairs. She told us where to go, what to do. It was a little bit nerve wracking just because we didn't totally, uh, we're just not used to that. So we went downstairs, went to the information counter down there at the train station, and we bought a train pass that cost, uh, I think it was 2,750 yen, which is not uh, way less than 32,000 anyways I'll do the math at the end but uh, anyways we did that and we got on the train the people were super nice they're trying to be helpful uh, unfortunately not everyone here speaks English so um, anyways a lady on the train we told her where we were trying to go and she fumbled around and told us that we were on the right train so uh, an hour and a half later we arrived at Diamond Station and so we get off the train we figure out that we're kind of where our hotel is based on the map and it says get out at exit a6 so we went up to a6 we got off on the street on a6 and uh, of course our google maps doesn't work or anything else because our phones are um, not working so debbie had seen online that there was a big tower 
where our hotel was. So we started kind of wandering around and I said, well, let's go into 7-Eleven and see if we can somehow get directions. Again, remember, most people don't speak English here. So then we see the tower. So she says, hey, there's a tower right over there. So we head for the tower and sure enough, our hotel is right there. So uh, that worked out pretty good. We get to our hotel room. At the end of this, I'll give you a tour. Uh, I call it the Alice in Wonderland room. We have two twin beds. This is a four-star hotel. I don't know if it's really a four-star hotel. It's kind of, that's probably pushing it. It reminds me of a, a older Crown Plaza or something in the U.S. where the uh, the common areas are kind of dated. Uh, but it's clean enough. The room's fine. we got two twin beds. Everything here is really low. So again, it's kind of strange uh, for us. But anyways, it was fine. Then we went down and had dinner. Uh, we had a pretty good dinner. It was a, you know, traditional Japanese. I'll show you a picture of it here, a quick video. I'll try and edit that in. But uh, anyways, we had a big Japanese dinner. It wasn't totally my jam, some of the stuff. They're really heavy on mushrooms, which I hate, and mayonnaise, which I also hate. So uh, those things were not perfect. But hey, we had a good dinner, and we got a pretty good night's sleep. Um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll do the hotel tour at the end here. The money we spent today... Uh, we spent 20 bucks this morning at Panera Bread before we left. We spent 12.85.60 on airfare, which is 6.42.80 each. Uh, our dinner was 88 dollars, uh, 27.50 yen, which I'll do the conversion at the end uh, for our uh, train ride, and then 74.59 for the hotel. So that's what we spent today. Again, I'll do a recap after the room tour. Here you go. Tomorrow's a big day uh, around Tokyo. See you then. All right, so here's the bathroom. We'll start in there. Nothing really special. You, as you can see, it's kind of dated. Pink tiles. Uh, you know, but the shower is hot. Everything is good. Of course, we got the uh, bidet toilets, which are real popular over here. If you're not familiar with those, they wash your undercarriage. And uh, heated seats, kind of cool tile floor, but just basic room. Uh, walking into the room, again, two twin beds on the left here. Uh, real low. That's, you know, to, again, to give you a flavor, that's below my knee, so it kind of felt like you were in summer camp. One nice thing is they did have this adapter here, which gives you every kind of plug for a phone or a camera or anything else that you could want. Um, also standard plugs here, nothing, you didn't need any adapters. There's a small desk and a small table and chair, TV. Again, everything is just really low, so it kind of feels a little bit strange. But uh, overall, the room is clean and good. There's the TV, and of course, there's a little mini fridge underneath that. And um, anyways, and again, beds, pretty comfy room, simple decor. Uh, looking out the window, it's a rainy day in Tokyo, but they have uh, a patio out there and everything else. So overall, the room, you know, did its job, nothing crazy. Uh, our total spend was $1,488.56. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.